Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tunkar, your bartender in the OSR. And uh, it's a miserable day here in the Poconos. We had rain last night, rain this morning, rain this afternoon. So before we left, uh, Monday morning, the post office was nice enough to drop off this huge, huge box. And I was like, all right, I don't know what's in it. I'm going to toss it in the trunk. I will open it when we get to the Poconos. And that's what I did. And lo and behold, um, I found inside what I think is quite possibly, oh, it's definitely one of the biggest RPG books I've ever purchased. Page count alone is nearly 900 pages. Um, it might I'm not sure if the page count is larger than a blight, but if the thickness might be larger than a blight. Um, <clears throat> weird frontiers. I, f- I feel like I'm holding up like a Bible at church, you know? It's like, ugh. And hey, it's even got, can you see it? Ribbons there. The bi- I, Listen, I don't want to do the, uh, the Bill Webb test. But that binding is nice. It's stitched. Look at that. Look, I don't know if you can hear the the fabric in there. That's fabric. That that's a hell of a binding. And it just shook my table as I put it down on the table. <coughs> Honest to God, the suggested retail on this is seventy five bucks. I don't know how David Beatty is making any money off this. Uh, he he might just be breaking even. It it's it's certainly. Certainly, um, a project of love to the gaming community, a project uh, that really drove uh, David. I mean, I, I, I've been speaking with uh, Mr. Beatty, uh, David, for a number of years. We've met in person at various cons. We discussed the issues there was with the naming of the project because... Uh, Chaosium had an issue, and he changed the name. We're Frontiers. Works well. Uh, I happen to have uh, a beer cozy at my house with the original name, which I I won't mention because maybe it's a a violation or a potential issue with somebody's trademark, but it's it's collectible now, right? So this huge book, and again, I'm going to hold it up. Now, do you notice that there's a different... Uh, section in the middle is colored differently and that's really where the ribbons are. Um, I do believe that section is where the uh, spells are. If you play DCC or MCC, okay, Weird Frontiers is going to feel like putting on a familiar pair of gloves or pants or whatever article of clothing. It's going to feel familiar. It's certainly different. But the mechanics that you know and love are replicated. It adds in a deck of cards. I haven't really... No, I have not read 900 pages yet. Now, something I should... Here, well, it's going to be like an unboxing, folks. I don't even know if I can put this on my my laptop without my laptop going, holy shit, what are you doing? Okay, so here, um, in in the front of this... Um, oh, right. I, I thought it was uh, going to be. It is a map of the United States. And here I'll obscure myself so you can see. This takes place um, as the Civil War was wrapping up. And my, what an amazing, amazing. Looking map, this is well done. Let, let's see. Up oh, and the look at that. The the little sticky pieces come right off. There's four holding the map in a place. I was afraid it was going to be like one of those uh, game maps that they attach on the inside of a book, and like you you suck with like the gluey residue. Now this came off really nice, really easy. Look at that live. Took off the four pieces. That was awesome. Now, what I have noticed with this is that the artwork and the interior artwork 
appears to be all black and white. Um, I am not uh, any kind of artist or specialist in it, but a lot of it to me looks like it is, um, what is it, uh, water, watercolor. What well, some of it with, uh, or just, I guess, charcoals. Really great wash looks, some amazing line art. I mean, here, I'm going to try to <clears throat> get this spread. Artwork like this is throughout the book. This is simply amazing. It is purely atmospheric. <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy reading this book for the setting. I enjoyed, um, oh, God, what was oh, seeing a moment right now, right? Um, what led to be Savage Worlds was pretty much another weird frontiers, weird West type of alternate reality of what ha what would happen if the uh, the time of the Civil War ended differently because of magic. In this case, we're getting uh, the weird frontiers. Now, what's what's the what's the blurb in the back? Things have gotten plum weird since the events of the seven days of nights brought on brought an end to the war, revealing the presence of an evil thicker than the darkest molasses that make the devil himself blush. You can turn tail or take the fight to the night, and you ain't about to be cold yeller. So saddle your horses and clean those irons, because there's something slithering across the dark frontier. And it's dead set on making vittles of you and your ragtag posse. Within this, within the pages of the Bootleggers edition, you'll have enough rules, classes, and even an included adventure, Death Crawls West, to wet your whistle and prepare you for what's coming in 2020. Well, it's 2022. This, this, uh, COVID, I'm assuming, didn't do any, uh, any help in getting this thing out on a more timely basis, but it is well worth the wait. Holy crap. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Well worth the wait. I could do I could do exercises with this. You know? I should be afraid of it. Like, you know, I dropped a book and damaged the floor. <sighs> David, you did an amazing job putting this together. I look forward to reading the lore first. And it, by the way, from my eyes, there are two adventures in here. There is a zero-level funnel and a first-level adventure. And if my memory serves me right, Pete Spahn is one of the authors of The Funnel. That should be fun. Uh, funnels are a great way not just for players to get accustomed to a new system or a new setting in a DCC universe of titles, but it's also a great way for the, uh, the judge Right, the referee, the game master, whatever word you or phrase you like to use, to get accustomed to the rules too. So, um, if you can find this uh, online, you, if you didn't back the Kickstarter, seventy-five bucks. This is worth it. I didn't even check to see if it's on Amazon. I'll need to do that. But uh, do yourself a favor, give it a give it a check. It should be well worth your time and investment, folks. Uh, Listen, I'm still I'm still in the Poconos. I'm still relaxing. It's a beautiful thing. But we're still in the midst of the world of COVID, right? Use your common sense. I'm going to leave it at that. Common sense is where it cuts out so much other crap. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Random Generated Party, 8 p.m. Eastern. Myself, Joe the Lawyer, and a bunch of other miscreants. We'll uh, be happy to keep you all entertained for the better part of an hour and a half to two hours. Right? That's what we do best. And then Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, myself and my lovely wife, Rach, we'll be back with Gamers Health. So, what more can you ask for? Well, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot. But for now, just take what you can get. All right, folks. I appreciate it all. Laters.